Hope you're all still awake. Late night mega here. And we are ready to leave town and move on with things. We're going to the palace ruins now. Which is going to be our next battle map. And this is where things are going to get a bit more difficult. That was the Palace of the Asha Dynasty. Well, the palace was burned to the ground. Well, that's unfortunate. Spirits of the Dead. Oh, you've done it now, Clint. Yeah, if you say so, Ash. Oh my, that is a lot of enemies. And yeah, the number of enemies on a lot of these maps, they can seem overwhelming at first. We have to kill all the enemies. They can seem overwhelming at first. But that's where you just have to like take things down uh, tactically. So let's take a look at this map and see if there's any okay immediately that stands out to me as a spot to search we'll probably do that along our way that treasure is really difficult to get without killing all of the enemies since you know you will automatically counter attack them I don't really see anything else that stands out okay now this is where things are going to get tricky Yeah, let's move Clint up here. And we'll put Diego right there. Yeah, look at that. Diego and Clint can't even kill these things. Yeah, basically you want to set up a bunch of attacks so you take as many or as few counterattacks as possible. Okay, and that guy is gonna, yeah, he's gonna come up and be a little bit obnoxious. That's okay. And that guy's coming over to play as well. Yeah, Clint can't even two-shot that. Oh, Clint is leveling up, though. Those guys are all just going to chill for now. Which, that's cool. Okay, Diego. I wonder, can you attack? You cannot attack over that. Well, Ash is going to go over there and deal with that guy. Diego, can you get... You can't get all the way... Or, you're Clint. Okay, so I think what we're going to do here... This guy, Ash, is going to go after this one. Ash is capable of two-shotting them. Oh, nice block. Yeah, you can block the counterattacks. That almost makes me want to... Eh, I want Clint to take less damage. I don't suppose you can shoot him from here, can you? No. That would be too convenient. So we'll have to shoot him from the front. Ah, uh, really?
And he's gonna counter. Ooh, Clint, you need to heal. I hope you can't get to Clint. This map, things can get difficult, and the AI... The AI in this game is known for, like, ganging up on people. Okay, we got rid of that one. Yeah, he can't really move around to hit anyone else. Gosh. All because Diego had to miss. Well, he didn't really miss. Well, yeah, yeah it's a miss, because he didn't hit the thing. Now that one's moving in now. Well, so is that one. These guys are getting obnoxious. Okay, let's first look at your movement. Alright, that's fine. So we'll get you up there and we will top you off. Yeah, Ash of the Black Wind can summon a little cutesy fairy to heal him. As much as I want that treasure right now, I also prefer not dying. Oh, and he can... Well, he can really come up here. I think we're best off... Do I want to move up at all? Maybe just by one square. Yeah, you need to use an herb there, Clint. Can't even put Diego on... You can't even put Diego there. but I can put him over here. He'll be safe. All right, and that's all of our movements. So yeah, I'm... There's a couple of ways you could go about this. You could um, just keep your whole team together and move along one path, or you can split them up. If you split them up, I recommend leaving Ash by himself. Okay, that one hasn't started moving in yet, so... I'm trying not to get close enough to trigger him, but yeah, there's no guarantees here. Clint, are you capable... Oh, yes, yeah, so you can get behind him. It's perfect. Oh, really? One point off. All right, and Ash can attack here. And that's all for our turn. Yeah, another thing I remember about, like, the tactics of this game, like, things can go south for you in a hurry. Like, even just one wrong step. And, uh... Yeah, it becomes very not good. Okay, you're going to go after Diego. That's okay. He gets more experience. One damage. You could do one more damage. Can't count on you guys at all, can I? Okay, well, they're not moving yet. Okay, so he's also going to be able to move here. Uh, Diego, we're going to back you up. Up. How much do we need to back you up? At least back up to there. Or... I just put you on the other side of Clint. No, we got an elixir. Or I could put you there. I'd rather have you just on the other side of Clint here. Maybe not even that far away. Is, is that spot... 
This is also why I don't play a lot of uh, tactical games on this channel, because I will spend so much time just going over every possible move. I wonder if I hide behind here, can I get... Oh, I should have used his fairy light. Oh well. I'm sure he'll be fine. Okay, nobody's coming in yet. Yeah, what's difficult about trying to get this treasure, not only do you have the clay golems all chasing you, but you have to take this box and push it to this spot. And then you have to climb up here, and then climb up here, and then you can get the treasure. And doing all of that will take so many turns in itself. It sounds really simple, but it really is not. Uh, either one of our characters should be able to survive another hit from this guy, so... Yeah, Diego's got enough. He, we're only doing 20 to him. No, oh, Diego's going to get a level out of this. And Clint, he can take two shots, so... We'll move you up. Nice block. Oh, we can, uh, yeah, we can fairy light again. I don't know, maybe I should try and draw them out. Draw one or two of them out. My idea is I want to use that boulder as a choke point, if I can. And Clint got another level. Oh, well, these guys are... well, one of them's triggered. Maybe if I put Ash here... We didn't find anything. Okay, who's... Yeah, nobody's really close to anything. Who's gonna go after that weird spot? Um... Probably Diego. Yeah, definitely don't be afraid of using your herbs here either. Oh, here we go. Uh, everybody is coming for Ash. That's not what I wanted. Oh, we got a fire gem. Those are worth quite a bit of money. Uh, we better hurry up and get over here. You guys... We're gonna cut them off there. I don't know if being more elevated will help Ash here. I know I don't want all three of these guys coming after Ash. No, yeah, he's gonna level up as well. While I certainly don't want everyone coming after Ash, finish him off. Yeah, if you split the party, it becomes really difficult to, uh... We're just gonna chill out here.
becomes really difficult to get that treasure. If you take the whole party around one path, maybe you could ignore one or two of the clay golems long enough, or uh, lead them on a bit of a chase. Oh, well, you guys are making this easy for me. Push. Funny. Yeah, look at that. We knocked them. We knocked half their health off of them, and we still get to move and attack. I think we're all pretty much... Oh, Diego was not level 8. He's level 7. Ash is level 8. Ash, come down here and... Oh, he learned uh, Ice Storm. This is a 4... takes 4 MP to use. Range is 1, so you can only use it on the opponent next to you. But it could stop them from doing a counter attack. Which could be very helpful could be helpful against these clay golems, but, uh, you know, you get what you get. All right, Diego, let's see if you can hit this one. Yeah. What's your experience look like? Uh, next is 86. Okay, so you're a little bit behind. That's okay. You'll catch up. Uh, you can balance out levels pretty quickly in this game. Uh, just because of the way the experience structure works. You notice Clint and Ash are getting less experience points because their level is, well, higher than Diego's. Well, it's more based on the enemies. but uh, So basically a lower level Diego is going to be able to catch up quicker because as he's fighting enemies in later battles... Those enemies will be, you know, increasingly higher level, so he'll get more experience from hitting those enemies as opposed to Clint or Ash hitting those enemies. And we took everyone down. We only had to use one herb. And, yeah, hi there. Your clay golems. You made those things? Yeah, how dare you create those golems? I'm the vicious ones. You attacked us first. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. Eleni Dunbar, daughter of Magus Magnus Dunbar. Uh, okay, well, I'm still not trying to make Magus out to be a traitor. I'm just going to see where he is. And who's this old guy? His name is Huxley. Okay, so Eleni is a mage, and Huxley, he's going to be a uh, priest or healer. How do you know we're from the DSF? Yeah, she only created uh, almost a dozen clay golems to slaughter us. Hmm, Huxley Hobbs. Okay. Well, we heard he disappeared. Well, you're quick to believe us. Well, you didn't stop her from summoning all those clay golems to attack us. Uh, I don't think it really matters what you choose that's going to happen, so yeah, let's bring you along. <laughs> I like Diego's expression there.
Oh yes, of course. We could use a healer. Well, yeah, it's a two-for-one special. Get an old guy and a young child. And we get more plot. Oh, Kane. <laughs> oh, they're just brutalizing the Count Claymore. It doesn't look too good. Oh, and there's, uh, Hell Spites. Know what? <laughs> oh, now what? Oh, it's Dolph. Don't kill the old fool yet. There's still valuable information that we require. I was not really telling you. It... Straight to the uh, point. Huh. Well, punching him in the face repeatedly isn't doing anything. One of my people has even infiltrated their group. Good. Now we just have to wait for them to arrive at Gilberis Island. Ho ho, I knew you knew something. Yeah, but that doesn't really tell you anything. He, he knows something about Gilberis Island. Uh, we have, well, before going to the Rhine Bridge, we're going to go back to the capital here, plus we have some extra time. Uh, Diego has that fire gem. Yeah, we're going to transfer that to there. And Huxley, he comes with a staff, a light band, cape and elixir. And Eleni comes with mage oil. I guess that's okay. But we want to upgrade their equipment. Because remember, we want to... We definitely want to keep everybody all armored up as much as we can. Do I do these? No. But we do do that. It's not like this stuff costs a ton compared to what we have. The amount of money we have, look how much money we have. We're doing fine for now. Oh uh, yeah, I think we're all set here. Well then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it, and then we'll go to the Rhine Bridge next time. That is the first battle that started really giving me problems uh, back when I was a kid in playing this. I don't remember when we played this. Maybe I was in 5th or 6th grade, somewhere around there. Uh, yeah, it was... Um, well, you'll you'll see why the next part is difficult.